Welcome back, Algebra 2 students. It's Mrs. Zosky with your lesson for today. We're still on the learning target. I can apply key features of functions. So, so far in section 1.1, we have talked about domain and range, x and y intercepts, and positive and negative intervals. So we're on the fourth key function. And the feature for today is increasing and decreasing intervals. So when we're talking about increasing and decreasing intervals, we're reading our graph. So here I have a diagram for you. Here's my X and Y axis, and here's my graph. It's a parabola opening down. But when we're talking about increasing and decreasing, make sure you're reading from left to right, just like you would a book. So reading the graph from left to right. And I want you to think of this graph as a roller coaster. So let's pretend our little roller coaster is gonna start his journey here on the left. And as he goes up, that's increasing. And anytime our roller coaster goes down, That's decreasing. So going up is increasing, and then going down is decreasing. So let's talk about some success criteria here. The first thing you wanna do is determine where the graph is going up and going down. So determine where the graph is going up. When it's going up, that's increasing. And going down. Which is decreasing. All right, so let me show you an example of this, just that step one. This is the worksheet under your classwork. So I'm just gonna look at the graph here, and I wanna figure out where it's going up. So that's increasing, I'm gonna use yellow for that. So it's going up here, and then it's going up here. Now I want to see where it's going down. So decreasing, I'm going to do in pink. The graph is going down right there. All right, so that's step one. Step two is use only the x values, use only the x values when writing your intervals. And we'll do step three too, because these go together. And then step three is always use parentheses. Okay, so let's look at that. So I'm gonna do that same graph here. So let's do the increasing intervals. So I'm going, I'm reading left to right. So I'm reading starting here and going to here. And remember, I'm only using x values, so only these values here on the x-axis. Further you go to the left, that's negative infinity, all the way to the right, infinity. So we're gonna treat these as arrows. 
So an arrow means it keeps going on and on forever. So it's gonna keep going this direction, which is negative infinity to zero. Remember, I'm looking at the x value. The x value here is zero. So there's my first increasing interval, negative infinity to zero, and use parentheses. Here's my second increasing interval. So I'm starting here at two, and it keeps going on and on forever to infinity. So two to infinity and use parentheses. All right, decreasing. Decreasing is in pink here, it's going down here. I'm using my x value, so the x value here is zero, and then the x value here is positive two. So zero to two. And constant, so constant is when the graph is neither going up or down, it's just going straight across. And I don't have that happening in this graph, so that would be none. Don't worry about this. You don't need to do anything with that. I'm just concerned with this for today. So let's make a note about constant here so you have this in your success criteria, this little side note. So constant, a constant interval is where the graph go straight across. Okay, let's do two more examples. Let's look at number two here. So, increasing. Increasing is where the graph is going up. So the graph is not going up at all in this problem. So this is a none no increasing intervals. Now let's find decreasing where the graph is going down. That would be right here. And then constant where the graph is going straight across. That would be here and here. And we're just gonna treat these as arrows on the ends here. I'm gonna color those in. All right. So constant, constant would be negative infinity to negative two. And then here would be two to positive infinity, All right? And then decreasing would be negative two to positive two. Remember, you're only looking at the x values to find these numbers. Don't worry about that. Okay, last example, number three. Increasing, where is my graph going up? It's going up right here. Decreasing, graph is going down in that section. And then lastly, constant, straight across right there. Okay, now we're ready to write our intervals. So I'm gonna start with increasing. So it starts at one and it keeps going on to infinity. Use parentheses. Decreasing starts at negative infinity and down to negative one. And then constant, negative one to positive one. All right. So that is the lesson for today, increasing, decreasing, constant intervals. 
So now in Google Classroom, you have four, five, six, seven, and eight to complete. And then turn that in when you are finished.